Hey, what's up, my guys? It's Al here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today, we're going to be looking at a new custom tile. In a recent stream, I built a tile via request, and I kind of just winged it for the most part. Now, there's two versions of this tile there's the original version, which I'm going to show first, and then there's a revised version, which I'm going to show second. The first version, I, I like the first version because it feels really cozy on the inside here because it has these trees or these I should say bushes on the outside this inner area feels really really cozy however on the revised version I got rid of these which makes it look a lot nicer especially from the outside and I added a few things in here as well so if you really want that cozy feeling I guess you can go with the, the original version but know that the uh, revised version has a lot more to it in the sense of more detailing as well as it does look nicer from the outside. So this is the uh, this is the original version. So it's missing a few things, but this inner area with these bushes on the outside, it feels really cozy, feels really secluded, and I really do enjoy that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hand free. And like I said earlier, I kind of did this on a whim. There wasn't any specific style I was going for when we first started building it. But it kind of became this whole mystic tree in this crater kind of element. Similar to the uh, rocky crater, which I have done before. But this had a bit of a different... I wanted this to seem... Hang on a say. The other one was a crater with a tree in it. Whereas this one was like specifically built around this tree. In earlier ideas I thought about doing a full dome over it. Make it just a cave. I wasn't sure how that would look. Especially with the whole using assets as a roof. It was something that some people were talking about in the stream. And uh. I just decided to leave it open on top. Now there's also this small path through here that can get out the back of the cave, or the back of the crater, as I'm calling it. And I wanted it to look like this root from the tree was holding up the rocks for this little pathway. And there's other small details here like what looks to be just a log bench with a pile of ash and a makeshift fire pit so we can assume that someone was camping here at some point underneath the tree or I guess technically both of these trees and now we're gonna go to the revised version which is just behind here look at that and this doesn't have the bushes around the outside which does make it look a lot nicer from the outside perspective Looks a lot less artificial with those giant bushes. Oh, stuck on that tree. Now if we come down into here, it's a lot brighter. It doesn't feel as cozy like I've been saying. But one feature I did add is I did add this. This is something that some of the people on the stream recommended. This is pretty much a makeshift pond. And how we did this was we took some of the really small rocks like these, have a flat surface to the top, made them extremely large, like 20 or 50 times size, colored them blue, and because I don't have collisions, you can walk through them as if they were makeshift water. But I think other than removing the bushes on the outside, adding the pond, and just general makeup and touch up work. They are the same tile. Other than that, other than those few things which I just said. So if you really want that cozy feel and you don't mind giving up the lake that I added in the revised version. Both versions are on the workshop if you do want to play with them. But I am also going to go ahead and grab my helicopter. 
And I'm gonna look at them from an aerial perspective. Nope, and my rotor got knocked off balance. Come on, we'll get knocked off balance. I know you can do this, because I used you earlier. There we go. And it seems that Axelot has fixed the glitch with the whole uh, thrusters creating an epileptic light show. Not sure why the helicopter is not balancing out properly, but you can see a bit of an aerial view. And now oh, I hope you see why I said that the giant bushes made it feel really weird and artificial. Because my original intent of the bush bushes on top were one to make it cozy, but I also wanted to kind of blend in. But if anything, I think the whole bushes on the outside made it stick out a lot more than it did benefit it. It's really hard to actually see because the whole helicopter's in the way and I fell out of it. Luckily, it seems that my head hit the rotors and I've destabilized it, so it should come crashing to the ground here soon. But we'll worry about that later and probably not worry about it at all because it's likely I won't do much of anything else with this world. I'll probably just end up making a new one next time I make a tile. Anyway, um, I do believe this is going to be the end of the episode. So if you did enjoy this episode and do enjoy this tile, this both of these are on the workshop, so you can choose whichever one you wish. I am going to end it out here. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments down below. If you the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe. It helps a lot. And right now, shares help the channel most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.